and we are right back. Happy, happy um, Eid. Okay, well, so when you say Eid Mubarak, it also means that happy Eid. So whichever way you want to take it this morning, it's okay. But I think we are going to be sticking to Eid Mubarak today. So we just want to give you an opportunity for you to call us. The phone numbers are right there on your screen. 0302 0302-973-193. Please call us. I can imagine that by now... The Shinkafa is ready, the tour is ready, or whatever you're celebrating with is ready this morning. And I'm just here in the studio waiting for the phone call, waiting for that text message that will show me exactly where I'm supposed to pick up the food. But if you want to deliver to me right here in the studio, it is also very, very fine. But wherever you are, I know that in the Muslim world, alms giving or gifting each other is tradition it is culture it is something that um characterizes the, the 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 muslim world so if you're sharing please remember to share with us this morning so call us um you have the opportunity to be able to wish your friends your loved ones and your family very very well on this day and i think i have my very first caller on the phone elvis from in Kranza has called me this morning elvis good morning Good morning. I was expecting some Rashid or something, but this is Elvis. Elvis. Yeah. Elvis, Elvis, El Elvis, hold on, hold on. You are listening to me through the television set. I can hear myself. Please turn down the volume of the television set and please listen to me through the phone. Is that okay? Yes, please. Fantastic. So let's let's go ahead. You are telling me that you have uh, a lot of friends. I have a lot of friends who are Muslim, so I just want to wish them happy Ramadan. Fantastic. Please go ahead. Uh, I want to wish Abdul Aziz from Wa, Abdullah Yusuf, Sharif, and Mohammed. They are all in Wa. Okay. Um, Is that all? Those are all the names? Okay. Elvis, thank you so much for calling us this morning. But let me ask you. Oh, he's gone. I was going to ask if he was going to visit any of them to share in their joy and to share in the celebration this morning. But I've lost him. You can also call me 0302-973-198. Call me. Let me know how you're celebrating your salat today. Let me know if the shinkafa is ready or if the tour is ready and if you want to send me some, I know Bokra, I did hear me and my crew members would also be sharing. So that's the phone number on your screen right there. If you call and it's busy, please don't stop calling. Try and call again till you get through. 0302-973-198 is the phone number. Call me, let me know exactly how you're celebrating your seller this morning. Now, when you call again, um, it doesn't matter. Your friends don't have to be only friends in the Muslim world. Of course, it's their special day, but it doesn't just have to be um, for them. It can be for anybody at all. We're, it's, it's one world. We are all one people. So we are calling each other to wish each other well. 0302-973-198 is the number to call. Kindly call me. A smiley from Kumase is on the line. Good morning. Good morning. Yaya yeah, Day. Yeah, Come again. I said Yaya yeah, Day. Yeah, How are you? Yeah, hello, Yakima. <laughs> You're not hearing me. <laughs> Fantastic. So what's going on? <laughs> Tell me. Recount how your day was from yesterday till this morning. What's been happening? Uh, a whole lot. A whole lot is happening. Yesterday, some people prayed. I was part of those who prayed yesterday. Okay. Today too, we also I also be going to the mosque with my family. Fantastic. What time? What time is mosque time? Nine o'clock. Exactly nine o'clock. Oh, okay. So by now, preparations are underway. It's just seven twenty-one. So preparations are underway. So typically, on a morning like this, how how do you get ready? How do you and your other family members get ready? Exactly, what do you do? Um, at the moment, I am at home trying to bring the family. I mean, my niece. My immediate family, my wife, my kids. Okay. Okay. So are you ironing by now? Have you guys had breakfast already? That's what I want to understand. 
we are now having the best part. Is that what I'm saying? We are having some tea so that we go to the mock and then celebrate with other family. Ah. I mean, there's another family elsewhere. You understand? Oh, okay. So then when you yeah. come back, it's when the tour and the Shinkafa and all that would, would also happen, right? Exactly that. By now, the Shinkafa and the Namam, <laughs> uh, the, the chicken is almost getting ready at the family house. Oh, wow. So after mock, we we'll go and celebrate and have a merry making at the family house. Ismail, you don't get me hungry. I haven't eaten this morning. Please don't get me you hungry. Are invited. <laughs> you are invited. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Now you have the opportunity yeah, to come. wish your friends and your family well. All the names that you want to mention, you have the opportunity to do so now. Ismail, can you hear me? Have we lost him? Hello, can you hear me? Oh, I think we lost him. Just when I was about to give him the opportunity to mention names of his friends and family, we lost him. But too bad. Well, you also have the opportunity to call to wish your friends and family very, very well. All the nice things that you want to say to them, you may want to give them their roses whilst they can still smell them. Don't wait to lose them before you give them their roses. Abdul, you're my next caller. Good Hello. morning. Good morning. Ed Mubarak to you and your family. I think to you, my dear. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Describe <laughs> to me, what's the mood? What's happening? Where are you calling from again? I'm calling from Tamale. Oh, very, very nice. Tamale is a special place for me because that's where my family is. That's where the Tibila family is. Hello. So describe to me, what's happening in Tamale this morning? A lot is happening. A lot is happening. People are happy. People are showing love to each other. And currently... You know, we have, we have the parents to go to uh, uh, the mosque and have our, our eat prayers done. Okay. So I'm told it will be at 9 a.m., correct? Sure, sure. Okay. So you and your family, have you had breakfast already? Are the dresses already? Already. Already. Are, are, already. The, are the dresses also ready? Mine, I'm wearing mine. How, you, should, you haven't told me how I'm looking. But I can just imagine what your clothes are looking like this morning. Are there new ones or you are repeating from last year? <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, sure. We are all looking good. Everybody's looking good here. You know, everybody's, you know, especially the ladies, you know, you see them beautifully dressed in their, in their hijabs. You know, everything is beautiful here. I can um, imagine. Like I said, we are just preparing to go for our eat prayers. Okay. Now you have the opportunity to wish your friends and family well. All the names you want to mention, you can mention. Please go ahead. Can you hear me? Why is it that just when they have the opportunity to mention... Can you hear me, Abdul? Just when I want to give you the opportunity to wish your friends and your family well, you just go off. So maybe when you call, get done with that first before we can discuss other things. 0302-973-198 is the number to call. I'm just seeking to know what the atmosphere is like, where you're calling from, exactly what you're up to, how your hijabs and your clothes are looking like this morning for the service at the mosque at 9 a.m. Sadiq, I'm told you're calling from Abeka. Can you hear me? Hello. Sadiq, can you hear me? Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Eid Mubarak to you and your family. Eid, Eid Mubarak to you. I wish all to be three network staff Eid Mubarak. Thank you so very much. Who do you want to wish well this morning? I uh, wish to send my felicitations to all my brothers in Lima. Okay. Especially to my chair members, to my uncle, Alas in Japan, to my wife, Nima, too, and to all members of Change for Change Foundation. Okay. All right. So are you also getting ready for the mosque this morning? Yes, actually, I opened my place yesterday. Okay. And inshallah, today too, I'm going to join the congregation to uh, pray, inshallah. Great. So you're calling us from Abeka. What's happening around you on your compound where you live or in the vicinity, in the area? What's the atmosphere like? You know, uh, Eid is a joyous moment. I mean, people are prepared for Eid. I mean, our ladies, our women, our mothers are cooking. We are also helping them in the kitchen. Trying to make a food available to our neighbors, they need the poor. You know, all those, I mean, we don't have any food this morning. I mean, it is the period of sharing and caring. 
All right. Thank you so much for telling us all that info. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your service at the mosque. And when you come back and you're eating, please don't forget us here at TV3. Thank you. In Mubarak. Thank you so and very I'm, much. And I'm giving you Fadila. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Enjoy, enjoy the, the rest of your day. Well, so that was Abdul from Abeka. You can also call me. Wish your friends and family well. Anything, any message at all that's on your heart that you want to tell them, I'm giving you the opportunity to be able to do so. Also, describe to me exactly what's happening in your house, on your compound, in your area, the vicinity in which you live. Just let me know exactly what is happening and what's cooking, especially in that kitchen of yours. 0302-973-198 is the number. Call me from anywhere at all in the world, especially I want to hear from the Zongos. The Zongos is where all the action is happening this morning. And I just want to know what is happening. 0302. Okay, so there's another Abdul on the line. Hello, Abdul. Hello, good morning. Oh, Abdul, I love you, but I don't think you really do love me. You are listening to me from the TV set. Please turn down the volume on the TV set. Okay, okay. Fantastic. So turn it down so you can listen to me through the phone. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you very well. Where yeah. are you calling from, Abdul? I'm calling from Boku. Are you kidding? Where in Boku are you calling from? I'm calling from Boku Township. Boku Township. You know I'm from Boku. Yeah. Did you know that I was from Boku? Or oh, I am from Boko. From which area, please? Um, which area are you from? I, 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 I cannot really remember, but there's somewhere <laughs> around the Central Mosque. That's where our family house is. Hey, yes. Latinga. When I come, I'll come and look for you. Okay, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> now, wish your friends and family well. Who, who, do, you, who do you want to mention this morning? Um, I'm going to mention my families, from the Timber family and from the Tengiri family inside Boku. Okay. I'm happy Eid Mubarak. Okay. What's the atmosphere like, though? Describe to us. Please come again. What's the atmosphere like? Can you tell us what's going on? People jubilating oh, around there? The weather is cool here, and we are preparing for the Eid Mubarak. Okay. Oh, did you say the weather is cool? It's not very hot this morning. <laughs> nah, it's because of the Eid, and the weather is cool. Oh. Good to know. I, yeah. I didn't think the weather would be cool this morning, but thank you for educating us. Thank you so much, Abdul. We are wishing you the okay. best of the thank season. Thank you very much. Enjoy, enjoy your day. Thank you so very much. So that was Abdul from Boko. I really need to find out which corner my house is so that the next time he asks me, I can, be, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can tell him. Anyway, so you can also call me. Okay, is that all? We are not taking any more calls? Okay. All right, so no more calls, unfortunately, but maybe later on when we come back, we can open the phone lines so that you call us. But Ibrahim Abubakar <laughs> is on um, Zoom this morning all the way in the Ashanti region. Ibrahim, I hardly see you in white, but you are, you are clad in white this morning. You look good. Oh. Well, Cookie, um, <laughs> it's an exciting day for all Muslims. Ibrahim, uh, Ibrahim, mm -mm, don't, you know, don't. It's not easy. Ibrahim, don't cookie me this morning. My name is Hajia Fatima. It's no cookie business. Oh, so sorry, please, sorry, address sorry, me sorry. as such. Hajia Fatima. Thank you very Hadia much. Hajia Fatima. Thank you very much. You know, <laughs> you know Hajia Fatima, like I said, um, it's an exciting day for all Muslims um, today. Uh, it's not been an easy journey um, fasting mm. for the past 30 days. In fact, um, <laughs> it's not been easy. It, it has not been easy at all. I Even can imagine. Over the years. And so I people are beaming with Ibrahim, smart, hold on. Excited. Ibrahim, hold on with the reportage. I just want you to be human with me this morning. When you keep repeating, it hasn't been easy, it hasn't been easy. What makes it difficult? Is it the hunger pangs? Is it the temptation? Is it all the food you smell around you? What makes the fasting period so difficult? Cookie, it's a combination of all that you've said. Um, <laughs> you know, especially in the past few weeks, past few months, mm. the sun has been scorching hard. And 
you move, you walk around and you get thirsty, you get drained and you can see chilled, drink chilled water. <laughs> and you can't drink. You cannot, <laughs> it's, it's very, very difficult and you... Hi. Ibrahim, can you hear me? Okay. But mm. you have to encourage yourself that, no, I, I will not fall for this temptation. At least <laughs> let, let me do it for the next 30 days of and I'll course. be free. So today, in fact, I climaxed my fasting at the Akuma FM Fufo party. So hey! I, um, <laughs> four, four, four goals of food when people were were shocked. They said, ah, Ibrahim, you don't eat too much. Why? Is it because you've been fasting for the past 30 days? So you want to eat all that you've not eaten in the past 30 days. I told them, well, I have to climb up my fasting year, and that's what <laughs> I did yesterday. Ibrahim, you are cracking me up this morning. What did you say? You broke your fast at the Akuma <laughs> FM Fufu party, and you had four bowls of exactly. Fufu. Exactly. Personally, I was thinking <laughs> shocked because I don't eat that much. But yesterday, I had the appetite because of the excitement oh. I, I, I consume about four bowls of food. You must have been pretty hungry. I'm so sorry, but <laughs> thankfully, the fast is over. So what vicinity are you standing this morning? I see a little salon behind you. I see another bus behind you. Where exactly are you? So I'm currently at uh, Aja Zongo. Okay. And the salon, salon you see behind me, if mm -hmm. we go, we'll, we'll try and move in and see. Okay. I have so, seen a lot of um, people there preparing for the Eid celebration. You know, it will start between 9.30 and 10 in this area. So okay. uh, most of the women come here as early as possible to do all the makeups just to look <laughs> uh, beautiful for the day. So the atmosphere is very, very calm, but because it's a bit early, you don't see a lot of people outside. I'm sure from nine there about yeah. that's where more people will start mm -hmm. coming out to move towards mm -hmm. the mocks. But you see the children and you realize Mm. They are excited. They move to uh, the poultry joint where bears are being sold. Some will just go and sit there uh, looking at the bears. You know, it's a, a, a day of sharing. So mm -hmm. the interesting part of the day is that even if you are needy, you don't have anything. Exactly. Okay. You can get you something. And a rice. You have rice and chicken and yeah. feed your family. Yeah. That is what we are all encouraged to do. Mm. So at least you move to every house household. Mm. And you realize they are preparing their rice and still some are pounding for food. Some are doing all sorts of food mm. just to make sure that um, they enjoy the day as such. I see. Ibrahim, let me, let me just ask you a question. A comparison just landed into my mind. Let me ask you, for the Christians, for most people who don't go to church, when it's 31st night or when it's Christmas time or when it's Easter time, by all means, even if all year they haven't gone to church, that's the day they go to church. Is it the same in the Muslim world for people who, for one reason or the other, haven't been able to go to the mosque? Do they also show up by all means on days like this? Does the mosque get fuller on a special day like this? Exactly. Um, it, it, in fact, the mosque starts getting full immediately the fast begins. Sometimes you wonder where all those people oh. are coming from. The, mm. the, 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 the regular mosque that you've been attending, uh, maybe you have uh, a congregant of 20, 30. Mm. The moment you start fasting, if you don't go early, in fact, you don't even get a place to stand. Mm. All the places are full, even the outside are full. So mm. usually in Ramadan, we buy extra mats. Or ah. even if you want to play safe, you have to come with your mat right. for home. So sometimes it's a bit interesting. And with the big day, climaxing mm. the big day, they, it's, it's, it's just like the 31st. People who you don't even often see in the mocks, right. you see them dressed very well with their mats coming there to pray. But usually uh, they are being encouraged to play because for Muslims, it is mandatory on all of us to pray five times five compulsory times in a day. In a day. Mm. So you cannot just use this day um, to come to them. Or even though no one will stop you, mm. but um, people are being monitored. So at least I'm seeing a change of trend because 
sometimes friends will even laugh at you that you know it's only if they that mm, they see you. So mm. the trend is kind of changing, but you still mm. have a chunk of them. I'll say the number sometimes triple than what you usually see on the normal even Juma page. So uh, it is not too different from what we witness on the next right. day. But right. usually the imams take opportunity when they mm. mount the podium to mm. encourage mm. people to at least pray five times in a day. Okay. L let me just pick your brain on this one as well. How about designers? How about the local tailors and seamstresses? Uh, is there also a lot of pressure on them, just like it is when it's end of year or when it's Christmas or Easter? Is it the same thing that happens? Well, Cookie, I can tell you that the pressure... Um, I would say it's 10 times four Ooh. than the normal. So usually what happens is that in Ramadan, mm. especially during the last 15 days or 10 days, you see that most of the fashion designers mm. or tailors sleep in their shops. They don't even go they home have at all. all. They don't even go mm. The last 15 days, 10 days, you move there and you realize that a lot more of them sleep in their shop because they have to work over time. But even with that, if you don't take care, so usually for me, I place it. I will have to make sure that I have one... Um, one one spare, do, just in case. Exactly. I don't depend on the tailors too, because if you don't take care, they will disappoint you. Right. I can tell you that today when you go to the mosque, you see a lot of people in Jalabia. <laughs> not because they wanted to wear that jalapeno, but, because, but because, because their outfits are not ready. fashion designers mm, have disappointed, disappointed them. them. So mm. it, it is the same uh, everywhere. I see. Now, early on, you mentioned that you probably would be able to drift a little behind you. So we go into that little salon um, to see exactly what's happening. So I can imagine if there's a lot, a lot of pressure on fashion designers, then so um, will there be pressure on hairstylists? So let's check this um, little salon. So, um, okay. So hi there, Fatima. Um, that is it. Um, you know, as early as five. Wow, makeup getting done. I mean, exactly. Uh, today is the happiest <laughs> day for everyone. So everybody will try and um, this or a possible best to look splendid. Interesting. So you see so that's yeah, a so queue. That's a queue right exactly. there, waiting their turn for makeup to be done. Exactly. So it's 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 very interesting. This is wow. just a, a, a small part of the community. And I can imagine. You know, people in the morning you see people coming to take their uh, well. So like I told you, this mm. man has been sleeping in, in his shop for the past 15 And days I see because... he's still stitching. He's not even done. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he's not even done. So by 8, you see a number of people here piling pressure on him. So if you don't have spare, then... Hey, Asamato. <laughs> that's RIP for you. So you have to at least get a spare jalabia mm. and make sure that mm. you also be part of the Eid celebration. Wow, wow. Ibrahim, thank you so much for that insight. Me, the, the interesting part for me is the queue of women waiting their turn to get their makeup done. And this is just a little community, so I can just imagine the larger communities, exactly what's happening um, over there. But Ibrahim, thank you as always for your time. So yes, a number of women in there waiting their turn for makeup to be done before they head to the mosque and later on also indulge in the aid celebrations for today. Wow. Ibrahim, thank you so very much. But where are you delivering my Shinkafa to? You haven't said anything about it. Well, Cookie, um, don't worry. I'll, I'll send it to you via, <laughs> via uh, Momo. I don't know whether... Via Momo. Will you Momo, Momo it to me? Will, will you Momo it to me? Or, or I should switch on my airdrop. Okay, let me WhatsApp it. <laughs> let, let me WhatsApp it to you. That can be better. <laughs> Ibrahim Abubakar, that's how he calls himself. Mm -hmm. Thank you so very much, as always, for your time. But later on in the day, we'll definitely come to you for all the updates. Enjoy your day. Stay blessed. We'll speak to you very soon. All right, so that was Ibrahim Abubakar.